Let's jump into this $1,000 gaming pre-built roundup to close out 2022 and get ready for the holiday season. And we've recently gotten a lot of new hardware released by AMD, Nvidia, and Intel, and although it hasn't made its way into the gaming pre-built space, there are still a lot of great PCs out there and a lot of good deals under that $1,000 price point. So if you saved up some money and you're looking to buy a pre-built on a budget, these are definitely the best options out there right now. Now these three PCs that you are about to see are very similar when it comes to specs. They all have an RTX 3060, 16 gigs of RAM, very similar storage and CPU configurations. But there's some slight differences, some slight tweaks here and there that you're gonna wanna pay attention to to see which one will best fit into your setup. So we start things off with the iBuyPower Slate MR PC. It has a Ryzen 5 5600G, an RTX 3060 like I mentioned, 16 gigs of RAM, a 500 gig NVMe SSD, and it's got Wi-Fi built in. So the biggest thing with these iBuyPower cyber power type systems is that you're getting all off the shelf components in maybe not the best case configuration. So you're getting the 5600G, a pretty good probably micro ATX motherboard, a decent cooler, an off-the-shelf RTX 3060, a bunch of fans, most likely RGB uh, in terms of this PC, and everything is really just off the shelf. They throw it in one of their branded cases, but down the line, if you ever wanted to upgrade this thing or swap out a different case, it's all possible with a system like this. So that's what the iBuyPower, SciBuyPower type deals really make a lot of sense for people that they're buying a $1,000 system today, but they're going to want to upgrade it down the line. This thing really lends itself well to that setup. This PC also has 3,100 reviews, so it's definitely a reputable system from a lot of Amazon customers. Now, this thing is on sale right now, marked down from $1,300 to $950. We don't know how long this deal is going to last, but it is a very, very good deal. If you can get your hands on this PC for under a thousand bucks, it's definitely a deal you should probably keep an eye out for. Uh, we did of course get the 4090 and 4080 launched by Nvidia, but really who knows when the 4060 level kind of card is going to come out. Could be a few months from now, could be six months from now. Uh, based on history, it's gonna be a, a decent amount of time away. So if you're looking for this level of system at that thousand dollar price point, this is really the best hardware you're gonna get for a decent amount of time. So if you're looking for something now, these are kind of the best deals. Now there are some faults with this PC, don't get me wrong. Of course, you can upgrade it. It's got pretty good specs off the bat at that $950 price point. The biggest issue with this case is airflow. You have like this little cutout between like the, the, the fan blades and then all your other airflow is coming in from the side of the case. So it's not the best, most efficient airflow configuration. Of course, the 5600G and the 3060 aren't super powerful either, but either way you want, you know, as much airflow as possible over your components and this definitely isn't it. But like I said, you can always upgrade your case. You can always swap out all of these components into something else that maybe suits the aesthetic more of your gaming setup or just has better airflow. So this is a really good option for somebody that wants to buy in at a thousand dollar price point today, but then upgrade down the line. Now, let's say you don't really care about upgradability. Uh, you kind of just want a system that's going to last you and you can have good warranty out of it and you're going to really uh, keep it as is with the specs that it comes with. Now this one is slightly overpriced at $1,100 and it's the HP Victus 15 liter. It kind of fits right in with like the HP Pavilion gaming and they upgraded it to the Victus. But overall this one comes with an i7-12700, 16 gigs of RAM, an RTX 3060, uh, a one terabyte HDD and a 512 gig SSD. So overall, this is the peak performing system out of the ones you're going to see for the most part, uh, but it does come in overpriced. So you get the RTX 3060, like I said, the 12 gig version with GDDR6, the i7-12700, a really, really nice processor, with a lot of power uh, for whatever you're using the system for. The biggest issue with these systems is airflow. So all you really get is this side grate over on the left side of the PC. Uh, and it's definitely not gonna be the best airflow config for an i7 CPU and a 3060. Uh, the other issue with these uh, PCs is it's just all kind of proprietary when it comes to the internals. Proprietary motherboard with all of this front IO built onto it. 
uh, proprietary power supply. So if you ever wanted to upgrade this thing, it's really whatever fits in this case that can, uh, that can take advantage of the motherboard built in. So you're not really going to be upgrading into a crazy GPU down the line. Comes with a 500 watt power supply, so you can only go so far when it comes to GPU performance. And you can't really upgrade the CPU anymore outside of like i9-12900. So overall, you're kind of stuck with the i7-12700 and this 3060. But if that's enough for the performance that you're looking for, for the games that you're playing or the tasks that you're doing on this PC, then it's a really, really good deal. But in my mind at $1,100, the i7-12700 is a little bit powerful for this system. So if you wanted to step it down, you could to a $915 system. Uh, you can customize it and you can get it with an i5-12400, keeping it with a 16 gigs of RAM at 3200 megahertz, uh, a 256 gig SSD, but you could spec that up if you wanted to spend a little bit more, and the RTX 3060, as well as the 500 watt 80 plus bronze power supply, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth built in, uh, all of their you know warranty that HP provides on this system all for 915 bucks. So you can cut it back down $200 by dropping down to a 12400 and maybe losing a little bit of storage capacity, but you can always bump that back up. Now this one makes a lot more sense to me. You're under $1,000. You're also not really going to hopefully run into any overheating issues inside of this case and it still should perform extremely well. The i5-12400 just pairs a little bit better with the RTX 3060. So this is a really, really good deal at $915, but there's one other deal that really kind of intrigued me and it's on Best Buy and it's the Lenovo Idea Center Gaming 5i. This is a brand new system from Lenovo. And what's really curious is that it comes in at $900 and it has an i7-12700, 16 gigs of RAM and an RTX 3060 with a 512 gig SSD. So like this machine, it looks really, really nice. Uh, it's still gonna have those same airflow problems that the HP has. It still just has like the one mesh uh, piece at the back. There's not gonna be any airflow through the front. Uh, it's also hard to tell how proprietary the internals are being that this is a new system. Uh, but overall, I mean, $900 for this level of hardware is extremely compelling. And Lenovo is selling this right now on their website for like 1,450 bucks. So I don't know if this is just a, a price discrepancy on Best Buy, they're trying to sell these systems or if this is what the actual price is going to be. I'm not 100% sure, I don't know how long this will last, but as you can see, there's zero reviews. This is very much a brand new listing on Best Buy. But overall, like this system, it looks really, really nice. It comes with a mouse and a keyboard, so you don't really have to worry about that if you're really sticking to a firm $1,000 budget. But being in at $900 really leaves you some room to maybe get a monitor or upgrade your mouse and keyboard setup down the line. So. This, this thing is really, really intriguing. And when you look at the specs on Lenovo's website, uh, everything just, it looks really, really good. You can see here the power supply, not proprietary at all. It's just a regular ATX power supply. The motherboard's a little bit limited in its capabilities. You only have four USB uh, type A on the back with ethernet, VGA, HDMI. And then on the front, you get two more USB and a type C. Uh, so overall, like it's a, Decent looking system, you get the 12700, so you got 12 uh, cores, so AP cores and four E cores. You get the RTX 3060, it even comes up to an RTX 3060 Ti, uh, DDR4, 3200 megahertz. So like overall, this is a really, really interesting system at 900 bucks. There's a lot of information on it and it's gonna be a small form factor PC, as you can see. It's not gonna take up too big of a footprint on your desk. Same with the HP Victus, the 15 liter. They're gonna be very similar sizes, uh, but this one comes in $15 cheaper with the i7-12700. And although again, maybe there's a little bit of a concern when it comes to overheating, but depending on your workload and you're probably not gonna be pushing that thing super, super hard, it should be fine in this case. So. Overall, this thing is extremely difficult to beat. And if you're looking for a system that has a 3060 and has a decent CPU in it, and you wanna keep it under a thousand bucks, this has to be the one that you, ha uh, you have no choice but to really go with this one. At 900 bucks with this hardware, it's kind of hard to say no to it. Um, if you're an HP lover, which not many people are, but you still wanna kind of take a look at the, the HP Victus, at 915 bucks, you're getting more kind of uh, appropriate hardware when it comes to the i5-12400 and the RTX 3060. This is also a really good deal. We are cutting back on your storage. 
And the iPad Power is really for the person that wants to upgrade down the line. Uh, upgrade either internal components or upgrade the case, make it really your own system. It's kind of a self-starter or early start kit to getting ready to build your own PC. So for me, you have to go with Lenovo if you're looking for the best bang for the buck system. But if you're looking to upgrade down the line, the iBuy Power is also a really, really good option on Amazon. Whichever system you go with, you're getting a great deal under a thousand bucks for some really, really nice hardware. I know it's old hardware. I know it's pretty much all two years old at this point, but you're gonna have to wait another like six to nine months to get your hands on some of the newer hardware that's now coming out being released by the AMDs, NVIDIAs, and Intels of the world. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know down in the description below. Let me know down in the comments below which PC you're thinking of going with and which one you might wanna take a deeper look at on the channel, something we might be able to review in a future video. So let me know that down in the comments. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, get subscribed to the channel and I will see you in the next one.